Reddit is a war zone for businesses that are gaming it. And I have an example on this episode of the show. This is number two on the entrepreneur subreddit right now. By the time this episode comes out, it will probably still be on the first page of the entrepreneur subreddit, ranking number two or number three. It's this thread called Five Marketing Hacks That Worked For Us. So I'm going to read the post and I'm going to stop at the part where I suspected something was up. And then I'm going to talk about how vicious this company is being at not getting this post removed from the entrepreneur subreddit. I wasn't originally going to make this episode, but this was so intense. I I said, I got to share this. At first, I thought this was actually a great post. And it says, hey, everyone, we are an early stage startup and have been experimenting with a whole bunch of marketing channels to acquire customers. Most of the traditional methods never worked for us. And here are some that actually worked. And then there are five things. There's Reddit Notifier, LinkedIn Cold Outreach, blogs and Pinterest, relaunches, and conferences. So it starts with Reddit Notifier. We set up Notifier to alert us anytime someone talked about a similar product slash problem on Reddit, and we DM the person with our solution. Number two, LinkedIn Cold Outreach. We used Apollo, very well-known piece of software, to filter for users based on location, company size, and title, and then DM them on LinkedIn from my founder profile. Number three, blogs and Pinterest. We set up, and I'm not going to name the software, we set up to automatically create blogs on topics our customers were already searching for and cross-posted them to Pinterest. Pinterest domain authority helped us rank higher. And I read this and I said, that's interesting. I've never heard of this tool. Automatically create blogs on topics our customers are already searching for, but then cross post it to Pinterest. I was curious about that because I've been learning a lot about Pinterest marketing. And so I took and I Googled it. Number one was their homepage. And here is where I suspected something was up. Immediately, I use the Moz bar, which is a Chrome extension, has lots of features. And one of the very useful ones is it shows the domain authority, the SEO domain authority of any website Right there when you go to it, it's on the right-hand side of the URL bar with a 1 to 100 score. New sites that don't really have any backlinks, they will have a 1 out of 100, the lowest domain authority possible. Super authoritative sites will have a lot more. But if you see a site that has 1 out of 100, you know that it is a brand new site. Or it's just not very reputable. doesn't have any links pointing to it. And the higher this number the easier it is to rank for the keywords that you want to rank for, especially competitive keywords. But if you go to a site and it's one out of 100, that says to you, this site is new. This can be especially useful if somebody sends you a link where you need to enter in sensitive information and you see one out of 100, you need to enter in sensitive information. Well, it could be that this is a new domain that is mimicking the domain that you're supposed to be on. It could be a scam site. If you see it's a piece of software and somebody is referring to it like it is a name brand piece of software, but it is one out of 100, that behavior doesn't actually match the age of the site. If somebody is referring to a product or a brand like it is name brand, same with Apollo, Apollo is name brand. And if someone is referring to it like it is a name brand app that you should have heard of, but it has a one out of 100 domain authority, well, that's a bit sus. So I look through this landing page. I don't see anything about Pinterest, which I was explicitly curious about. And then I go back to the thread. And then I look through the comments. My spam alerts were set off, but I wanted to see if anyone else said something. Basically, when I read this, I said, I think all of this just exists to promote this one product that is a brand new product. And that is what I suspected immediately. I'm actually going to obscure the name of this brand in the, in the recording. I don't want to throw shade on them, but this is interesting to see how people are gaming the system. And if you want to see for yourself, you can just find the thread that I mentioned and then look at it for yourself, unless it gets taken down off the entrepreneur subreddit. So far, it has not been taken down, which is also interesting that it has skirted the rules for this long. The thread has been up for seven hours now. So I go to the comments and then I see this guy he posted. He said, hi, mate. It's you again promoting your product. 
in disguise again. I see you. You posted about your product under a different username in this now deleted Reddit thread here, listing it as number three in your top five AI products. And in this post, the one that I just read to you, five marketing hacks that worked for us, it was also listed at number three. The commenter continues, you then posted it two days ago here again, listing it in one of your quote unquote must have tools to save time as an entrepreneur, which has again been deleted after I ousted you there too. So this person posts that, I refresh the page a few minutes later, and then suddenly, and this is why I am saying that Reddit is a war zone, suddenly this comment has minus 22 karma, which means that this person, it confirms this person bought upvotes to this post on the entrepreneur subreddit and then bought downvotes to this comment. And actually, this is the result of the downvotes. The downvotes hid this comment that I just read to you. It's a hidden comment at the bottom. You have to click a button to actually see it. And I don't like to gatekeep on the show. So after I share the rest of the comments, I'm going to share how this person, what they're doing to game Reddit. This is so crazy. It's okay. It's so crazy. I, I can't wait to share this. All right. So the top comment says Reddit notifier is a quite a clever move. And then the original poster comments on that and says, haha, yeah, if they're it's existing demand. It works well, not so much if you are creating a new market slash demand. So then this guy who was downvoted, it's so funny, comments on the top comment and says, hijacking the top post because I called them out in a comment, but they've downvoted me to oblivion. So it's hidden. Check it out below. This user has a history of promoting their product while disguising them under quote unquote top AA pro products or top products for entrepreneurs, or in this case, five marketing hacks, reposting what I commented earlier in the thread, which is hidden due to downvotes for more visibility. So this person posts that, reposts what person originally posted, and let me read to you the karma on this new post. It has a minus 15, and the result of that is it gets hidden as well. You have to click a button to see it. Someone else commented and said, that was my impression as well. Promotions disguised as advice. And that's what it is. But because this person commented that onto the comment that got minus 15, that new comment is hidden too. This person is gaming Reddit so hard. And then there's all these other comments saying, this is sick. This is awesome. This is brilliant. And now here's wh what else is crazy. All of these posters, everyone who is commenting, including the top comment and including the original poster. They all have only posted a few times. They all have a very shallow post history. So here is what I believe happened. First of all, gaming Reddit, just buying up votes, really common. I'm not going to encourage it, but a common way that people do this is they Google buy Reddit upvotes, buy Reddit comment downvotes. They Google something like that. They click on the top result and then they do it. I'm not encouraging it, but the common piece of advice is before you test it on your own stuff, well, don't test it on your own stuff. That's what the common piece of advice is. If you're going to do something that's against the rules and you've never done it before, don't test it on your own stuff. Stay safe. That's the common piece of advice. I'm not recommending any of this. And then what I think this person is doing, because all of these accounts have such shallow post histories. There is a huge community of people on Fiverr who will game Reddit for you. I think this person is just buying comments on Fiverr, might have even bought this post with an account from Fiverr rather than buying accounts because you can pay people on Fiverr to post on your behalf. And I think that that is what this person has done because again, all of these accounts, they've barely posted anything in their history. I also think this attempt at gaming Reddit not that savvy. It's pretty interesting that this person hasn't been caught yet. And I don't believe that the moderators of our entrepreneur haven't seen this yet. I do think they should have included on their landing page Pinterest as a use case or given more detail on this post into how they're using Pinterest domain authority to help them rank higher. Overall, I actually think this is a pretty good attempt at promoting their product. It's pretty savvy. It's crazy vicious. But not a lot of people are like me and know to look at domain authority. If you have some experience with search engine optimization and you know to look at domain authority, you can immediately see, well, this is a post 
that exists only to promote this one product, which negates the rest of the advice as just generic advice that may or may not help people. There's not enough specifics in it. Also, the post is called five marketing hacks that worked for us. The other two things on this list were just lazy because they're not hacks. We launched our product almost five different times. Number four. And most of the time it was the same product, but just different messaging and positioning. And then number five is conferences. We always asked our friends in the space what conferences they were going to. And we would go hang out around there for free and talk to as many people as we can. It's not really a hack at all. With that said, I'm going to give this manipulation attempt a four out of five. I think they could have done it better by putting in more detail for each one. They could have also used keywords so that a post like this will rank on Google and it will get traction into the future. Also, if this post was longer and had more specifics, it'd be less obvious as spam and it will be less likely to be taken down. That said, four out of five, I'm surprised it's still up. It's seven hours after it was posted and Reddit is a war zone because this one person who's trying to expose them got so many downvotes and this person is hiding these posts by just buying comment after comment after comment on this thread. It's really crazy. And that's all I got for you today. This is a creative and spammy way that this startup is promoting their company. I definitely think it's interesting. Thank you so much for watching. And thank you so much for listening. If you're listening, if you're going on a nice walk, doing the dishes, walking the dog, climbing a mountain, Wherever you are, as you're listening to this episode of the show, thank you. This is episode 435. I will talk to you again tomorrow. Bye now.